Good morning, everyone. It's Pastor Tim Hammy, First Assembly of God in Burlington, Kansas. How are you doing this wonderful Monday morning? I hope you're doing well. I'm going to invite some people into this wonderful devotion this morning. It's going to be an awesome, awesome day. So uh, good morning, everybody. I can't believe it's Monday, the 20... Uh, Third. Third. And, uh, yep. Good morning. Good morning, Miss Julie. Welcome to Monday. Good morning, Tamika. It is going to be a great day. Good morning, Clifford. Second time on time. I can't believe it. This is going to be a habit. Good morning, Miss Vo. I hope you're doing well. And, uh,. <laughs> Yep, my mom's in, in the room with me, so she's not going to be online. She's actually here with me right here. So we're going to deal with Psalms 104 through 5. And uh, this is actually a song that we used to sing when we were younger. Maybe you feel young this morning because it's Monday. It's the beginning of Thanksgiving week. Good morning, Miss Sherry. And uh, so check this out. It's... Enter his gates with thanksgiving, his courts with praise. Give thanks to him. Bless his name, for the Lord is good. And his steadfast love endures forever. His faithfulness to all generation. And uh, so uh, the fun stuff. Enter his gates with thanks. Could you imagine that as you... Uh, everyone's saying hi to you, by the way. Oh, Hi. <laughs> And so, um, as you as you go into your day, as you walk into your workplace, as you walk into your schools, as you do whatever, and you're like, "I'm going to enter in uh, in the gates of Thanksgiving." You're walk into your workplace, your school, whatever, with praise and Thanksgiving, and you say, "Thank, thank you, Lord, thank you, Jesus, thank." I'm just going to thank the Lord, and, and everyone's just going to look at you like you're just weird. Well, you know, I just think and. It says, enter his gates with thanksgiving, his courts with praise. Give thanks to him, bless his name. For the Lord is good and his steadfast love endures forever and his faithfulness to all generations. I love that. The whole verse I just love, but his the last part, his faithfulness to all generations. My mom and I were just talking just at the beginning about um, COVID lasting is never going to end. But we were talking about every other epidemic, how it has ceased. Well, there there are stems of it. It's still all around, you know, the swine flu, the the polio and all that stuff is still, you see it, but it's not as prevalent. And and I do believe that eventually this, this junk that we call COVID is going to cease. Uh, I don't know when, I don't know how, but, you know, I think in the middle of those epidemics, they says, ah, oh, this is never going to end, you know, but the Lord is faithful to every generation in the midst of it. You know, you think about, man, is this ever going to end? Is this, is, is what we're going through, whatever you're going through? You might say, well, COVID's no big deal. I'm, I'm good with uh, I'm I'm making it through, but the situations, the troubles that we see in front of us, will this ever end? But the Lord is faithful uh, to all generation, to you, to to the circumstances that you may be facing right now. The Lord is faithful. He loves you so much, and we can make it. We can make it. We can lean in on the Lord. Lean not on your own understanding, but lean on Him. You know, I heard one say that, you know, being a Christian is 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 a handicap. You know what? If that is true, man, I guess I'm a handicap because, man, I need to lean in and I need the Lord each and every day. Um, there is no better place I'd rather be than than in the midst and, and, and getting through every single day to to 
make it through the day just to to rely on the understanding and the wisdom of the Lord every single day because he is faithful. He's going to get me through this day. And then, you know, I'll get through this day and then he's going to get me through the next day. Every morning I, I, I get up and I, I have my protein shake, I have my vitamins, I have my medicine, and, and then I get in my I get in my word at the same time. And man, that's just like, you know, the best energy drink that I have every single day. So he is faithful. He won't he won't let you down. You know, you think about, man, so many people have let us down or let you down or whatever. You can probably go through a list. But you know what? The Lord will never, never, ever let you down. You know, he's always there with you. Whenever I think about faithfulness and how the Lord is always faithful, it always brings me back to the, the, old foot, the old poem, Footprints in the Sand. You know, when there's two foot, two sets of footprints and then there's one. And that when there's only one set of footprints is because he's carrying you through. And, and you know what? That's so true. He, when those circumstances happen and, and you're just like, ah, I'm just going to throw my hands up in the air and I don't feel like I can make it. It's that very moment that he's carrying you through those situations, those circumstances that, that you feel like ah, I'm all alone. But that's the moment that the Lord is right there with you saying you can make it. You know what? You can make it. He's not left you. He has not disowned you. He has not forsaken you. He's got you. And so uh, just remember that. So get out your notebook. Write out this verse. Psalms 104 and 5. Write this verse out. Enter. Woo! -hoo! Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him. Bless his name. Come on. Uh, for the Lord is Good. See, you got to bring out that good, uh, especially this morning. It's Monday. You got to get excited. All right. His steadfast love endures forever. His faithfulness to all generation. Uh, write that verse out. Put an O, observe it. A, apply it to your life. P, pray. So if you have any prayer requests, um, uh, put it put it in there. And uh, I don't know what good parking has to do with uh, this uh, Clifford, but okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> but uh, and if you have any prayer requests, go ahead and put that in, and we'll uh, pray for that this morning. But uh, God is so good. So uh, I'm just going to start praying, and then uh, I'm going to lead out. Lord, I thank you so much for today. I thank you that, Lord, that you're in control of all things. And, Lord God, I pray for a complete healing, Lord Jesus. I thank you that, Lord God, uh, I pray for this estranged family, Lord God, that you just will work things out, Lord Jesus. Um, Lord, you know what's going on. I pray for this family that is falling apart, Lord God. Uh, I pray for... Uh, Tamika, who is in pain, Lord God, that, Lord, that you would just heal her. I pray for Clifford, Lord God, who continues dealing with his handicap, Lord God. You, Lord, you are amazing. And Lord God, you, you can touch him and you can heal him, Lord Jesus. And Lord God, I, I pray that, Lord, that you are a God that heals. You God are the God that brings back together. And that, Lord God, you are amazing. You are good. And Lord, I pray for healing of our country of this uh, this COVID. And Lord God, that you just take care of it all. I pray, Lord God, that you just uh, take care of the unspoken, Lord God, whether it's health or finances or Lord God, whatever it may be, Lord God, that you just inter intervene. I also pray, Lord Jesus, that um, you just uh, help us to be a blessing to those that we come in contact with. I also pray that, Lord God, that you give us the opportunity to share the gospel with somebody today, Lord. Lord, we thank you for today. We give you this day, Lord God, that we may always give thanks today, Lord, in your name. Amen. Hey, you guys have an awesome day. Love you guys. We'll see you tomorrow morning. Have an awesome Monday. Remember, Psalms 100, 4 and 5. You know, praise the Lord at all times. Well, you know, you got it. Just just read it again. You know, it's, it's an exciting verse. Have an awesome day. Love you guys. We'll see you tomorrow morning. 6.30.